Hi everybody. This video is going to show you how to use the Smart Notebook Video Recorder. Now the first thing you have to do is to open up the Smart Notebook software. And you can see I have that opened up here. And then you're going to go over here and you want to add the recorder. You can see I already have it here. You want to add the recorder to your toolbar. And that's what this cogwheel on the top right does. I scroll down to the bottom. And you can see it here, so let me remove it. So you see it's gone up here. And I go down here and I find Smart Recorder. I'm going to left click and hold it. And you can see I can start to move it. A little plus shows up. And then it will highlight the areas I can put it in. And I can put it anywhere I want in here. I'm going to put it right in the between, so it's a bigger button. And then I click Done. And now my Record button is on my screen. And now I click it. And this pops up in a second or two. And there are a number of things I can do. If I click the little arrow next to the red record button, I can do the desktop, which is automatic. That will record anything on the screen, including if I minimize this screen. And I'll show you that in a minute. I can do just a record area, and it says draw a rectangle. So right now, it's only going to record, and is recording, what's in there. And I don't want to save that. And then I can record a window. Select which part you want. So if I only want to show this part of the screen in recording, I'm going to select that. And right now, it's recording only what's in the red box. And I don't want to save that right now either. I'm going to show you the default. So if I just started this, let me start all over. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I opened up my recorder, or my notebook. I hit my record button, and I hit record. If I don't want to use what's on the screen here, I don't want to use Smart Notebook, I can go here and show anything else. I can show a web page. I can show a piece of software. I can show... Google Doc, I can, you name it, you can do it. And it will automatically record. You can see that it's still recording. And right now I'm at about 23 seconds. <clears throat> I can pause it and start recording again. And then when I'm all done, I hit stop. Now what Smart Notebook does is it wants to save it. And it will automatically put a date. You can change that, and I suggest you would. So I'm going to change this to Notebook Recorder Demo and put it in my desktop. And I hit Save. The longer it is, the more time it will take to do this. And it will pop up right there. And if I want, I can play it. It's going to open a file, and you can see that it's playing. Now, it's on my desktop. From here, I can share it out any way I want. If I want to put it in, um, upload it to Google Drive, I can do that. Just remember, when you put things into Google Drive, YouTube, whatever it is, they have to process it, so it takes time. So I could in, import that into Google Drive and share it out from there. Or, I can go back over to YouTube, because some parts of Google insist that it be in YouTube. And I can go over here to Upload, and click and drag files. I'm going to click, go to my desktop, get rid of this, find my video. There it is. Click Open. And it's going to start uploading. Ask me what I want to do with it. If it's public, unlisted, I want only people that have the link to do it. And this is how to use Smart Recorder. And then hit Done. And when it's all done, here's my link already. When it's all done, I will have a YouTube video 
that I can share out in any Google, Google product as well as some others.